Hi, uh, Demi Newton again, just with a another update on the uh, Jack Pacific Batman work in progress. So I'm working on this base at the moment. I mean, I'm, it's on this piece of wood, which is just square. I'm going to do something with it, I think, uh, reshape it in some way, make it look like something. So basically, I've just used um, bits of foam um, and, well, the, these kind of, these things are from some old ceiling tiles from our office at work, which is getting renovated at the moment, which I've stole and used to make it look like um, blocks and things. Um, this uh, kind of, um, this uh, substance right here is um, a product I got off um, Amazon. I can't remember its name right now. Um, God, I'm so rubbish. Uh, let me think. Okay, uh, it's called uh, Sculptor Mold uh, Modeling Camp Compound. I basically used two parts of this powder to one part water. So what I've done is a load of um, just gubbins under a, a load of rubbish and then I've just built it up over it um, using various uh, different blocks uh, to eventually create stone effects. Um, just onto um, this now I'm painting um, Citadel uh, miniatures sterling mud which is one of their textured paints so it'll give it um, a sandy uh, feel um, obviously it's not going to stay that colour I'll just uh, I'll dry brush it once it's done uh, and then just to show you where I'm at with the actual Batman um, okay so um, this leg um, I've re-sculpted all around here and blended the grey in to match uh, the existing grey. Uh, around here as well has all been re-sculpted uh, and painted grey. Um, uh, under the arms, um, so basically he stood with his, his arms, is that in frame, I don't know, he stood with his arms straight down. But obviously I, I want him to lean out a little bit. So under here, um, I've um, used modeling putty under there, used Aves, um, which is an amazing product. Stop using uh, Games Workshop green stuff, start using Aves. It's just, it's so durable. It's so easy to smooth on. It just does a great job. Um, so I painted those black to uh, match him with a kind of, um, you know, um, these areas of, of the suit. So um, he stands now with one foot higher than the other, um, which is obviously what I'm doing with um, sculpting the base. Um, what else to say on him? All I've got left to do now is uh, finish the silver on this leg and then finally paint all the black um, once I've dry brushed all the silver to make it appear metallic. Put a hole in his foot there and that will... Um, That will uh, that foot pegs onto there, and the other foot sits lower. So I wasn't going to do a work in progress on this because it's pretty boring. But I just thought I'd give you a quick update of where I am. So uh, that's not that. So I'm just basically going around with the brush and putting this paint onto the kit. As I say, it's a textured. Uh, it's a texture paint so it's got a kind of sand um, built into it which will give this some kind of grainy effects um, yeah, you know the texture of mud as it, as it would be so I'll keep shooting as long as the GoPro works um, but the, this is all I'm really doing tonight, I'm just going around this and um, doing this and then these blocks I'll just paint, I'll paint black for now and then obviously dry brush uh, later. I'll keep my phone there so I know when you've gone. I'll keep this, um, as I say, black for now, uh, 
uh, stones black and then I'll just dry brush grey uh, grey onto them, make them look like concrete slabs um, you know that kind of thing I'm not sure what to do with the actual wood um, I couldn't I was going to get by you know um, circles of wood are, are fairly expensive you know uh, most most models bases tend to be on a circular kind of shape I was looking on Amazon for um, circular chopping boards but about 30 quid for the size I want I can't bother paying that um, so uh, I'll probably end up making uh, cutting these corners off cutting this down a little cutting the corners off um, you know, uh, some kind of hexagon like shape. The trouble with scrubbing this uh, this paint on it wrecks your brush. So, I would use. I'd use uh, I wouldn't use your favorite brush today I did buy a textured spray can um, that I thought would do the job for me but stupidly it kind of melted uh, uh, the foam a little bit uh, which is a surprise about because I, I kind of tested it with some glue to, um, obviously um, gluing it here which I thought would have melted the foam but didn't however the spray can started to so that's why I stopped, what, stopped using it um, I was going to do a texture on the stone and then a different texture for these sands um, I think called, um, called rust-oleum rust something like that textured paints I was going to do, you know, uh, a video of me putting the putty under the Batman's arms, but I kind of touched on that uh, when I was doing the back of his leg, so I didn't bother. Sometimes it, you get work done faster if you don't video it, and you just do a kind of recap when you come to it. Plus, with the kind of problems I've been having with this GoPro, I've kind of, I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> It's just, it's so frustrating. You know, uh, can you imagine being, I mean, they're designed for, you know, surfers and mountain climbers, and, you know, these people who do once in a lifetime, uh, have these once in a lifetime kind of opportunities and they want to video it, you know, so they've got it forever. And you'd just be absolutely crushed if the video didn't work or. SD card error or you know all these other problems you get with them and I've been checking online I'm not the only one so I kind of wish I just bought a regular video camera just thought with the size and all that of the GoPro it would make you know storing it a little bit less of an issue So I'm not really. I'm no neatness to any of this. I'm not. I'm not taking care. I'm, I'm clearly going over onto rocks. I'm not meant to and things. Um, the reason I'm not on the head camera tonight is uh, I, I guess it's a bit of uh, nausea inducing for people. And also, I just I need to keep my eye on making sure that this video camera is working because the last couple of times I've been nattering away, and nobody's well, nobody ever listens. You know, a few people watch these videos, but not many. Um, So I watched the Captain Marvel trailer today. That looks pretty good. I like the way it starts. She crash lands into a uh, a blockbuster video. I guess they thought nothing says 90s more than blockbuster video. So 
so that's out March next year which I thought was around the time that um, Next Avengers was out but obviously I'm wrong blocks as well. I'll paint the whole thing in the same colour. Uh, and then everything's got a texture to it. And obviously on the on these I can make it look like mud or soil or sand or whatever, you know. Um, and then the rocks can obviously start as a black and then a dry brush on various shades of grey building it up. So uh, next up after this I've got the uh, Mad Max 2, the Road Warrior statue coming from Needful Things. Um, search them on um, Facebook, uh, beautiful looking model, it's got the uh, uh, Max character obviously um, with his shotgun um, holding out. They've got the feral kid on it uh, with his boomerang and um, the dog, um, um, the dog that he kind of he has in it, uh, all standing on you know rubble and uh, debris and skulls and things like that. You know, uh, looks pretty cool. Can't wait for that to arrive. Um, so I'll be painting that up next. Hopefully I'll sort my video issues out by then and be able to do um, some proper work in progress rather than slight work in progress, catch up, catch up. Um, I've got a predator kit to do. I've got some Batman uh, later on in the year around it's December. Similar to dry brushing, this this paint will just trash my brush. You know, um, whenever you dry brush and don't use your favourite brush, it just becomes your dry brush paint. No getting that back once you brush. Uh, once you dry brush with it a few times, it just ruins all the bristles. So uh, I'm not sure when the next Avengers are out then, uh, if Captain Marvel's early on in the year, uh, I guess it'd be the later in the year, but yeah, 
fucking people waiting, they certainly are. Um, I guess it's the best for them that they delay things, because uh, where do you go from there? Which is something I've talked about before, but my video didn't record. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of saying, you know, Galactus would be a, a great way to go next. Obviously, if they get the rights to uh, get the rights to the character back, um, but you've got people like Annihilus, um, Kang, uh, several big baddies that they could go with next time. But get Galactus would be a great one. You know, spend the next ten years building that up. Um, Obviously, it becomes a. Uh, whereas Thanos is uh, a universe spanning threat, we've been wiping out 50% of all life across the universe. Galactus is kind of just a planetary threat, um, with him obviously eating planets. Um, I don't know, they, they, they could make slight changes to that, you know. Uh, to make him seem like uh, you know, a, a bigger threat. I've got some, uh, I've been googling newspaper headlines and things from the film Batman v Superman uh, to, I don't know if my head was in shot there, to strew, uh, strew throughout this kind of ruin as well. Um, like the new, uh, a new brand of justice, and uh, oh, there's some, there's another newspaper headline you see at one point as well uh, that I've also uh, got. With that, Jeez, filthy one moment. Okay, back. Right. So, what I'll do now for a little bit is uh, just do a bit of that silver on his leg. So this is the product I'm using, Vallejo Liquid Silver. Uh, you get this off eBay. It comes with liquid silver, old gold, gold, and bronze. Uh, brass rather and uh, these are gorgeous paints really really nice paints you have to give them a really good shake though the silver is uh, it's one of the strongest silvers I've seen uh, on any model paint uh, and it's a bitch to get off your brush as well so this this and the model so all we're doing, any edge uh, around there, we're just you know scuffing the line uh, so it looks like it's been scraped. Um, there you can see all where I've rebuilt under there. Um, so just a, a flat ended brush is perfect. Are you taking most of the paint off your brush? Going over that line. I have to keep checking them in camera.
Oops, a bit too heavy there. Obviously all we're creating here is the effect of you know, scraped and worn battle damaged uh, suit. Most of the paints off the brush, you can just get that same, just scruff it on over the rest, just to give a very slight, you know, silvered sheen to it. Again, slightly like dry brushing, really. You want to catch the light a little bit. Right, you get the idea. I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so that's that leg done uh, there. So I'll just leave that to dry now. Uh, just the next bit is uh, just using a very fine brush and pure silver, just going in on all these, uh, just creating these you know, these line effects, these scratches where it's, it's ripped the, the metal down to its uh, base coat. Um, so there's lots of uh, zigzag lines everywhere that I just need to go in and pick out um, and I suppose if you're not too good with a brush you could use a, um, a cocktail stick, a toothpick or something like that you know but if you've got a very fine brush that's the best thing uh, so um, that's my next step I'll do that I'll finish up the black there I've just noticed while I was painting behind here that the grey of his uh, suit is different on his bum than it is there now I know that's not going to get noticed but it plays on my mind something else I'm pondering as well is after the, the you know um, using Aves up here I was thinking about going in and filling all these little holes now his cape sits behind here so I don't know if you'd actually see them um, it's one of those things you know they're there is how far I want to go uh, with this, so that's something I'll ponder, I'll have a think about that. 
Uh, Cape something I've not really spoken about. Um, so. Uh, just his cape, so I went and bought a load of fabric uh, from the market um, by us, and I'm going to do uh, double layer it, and it's quite a thick, nice quality um, fabric. Uh, I think it's only about a ten or something like that. Um, now sewing's not my forte, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get somebody within the family or you know a friend to be able to do that for me because um, uh, I'm useless at it. So uh, that's my next step. Uh, I'm working for the next three days straight, uh, long shifts as well, so three 12 hour shifts. Uh, I'm off on Friday, so I'll probably do a, uh, another update then. So um, quite a short update tonight. So uh, until then, I've been Damien Newton. Stay cool, thank you, bye bye.